As we celebrate all things D.A.D., we're talking, you know, of course, uh, some spirits. We're talking style. We're talking music. We're talking two dads. And now we're talking about maybe a fantastic breakfast in bed for dear old dad. We're guys, right? We eat in bed all the time anyway. That's right, of course. It seems only natural you might bring up dad some, uh, some breakfast in bed. Zach and RF from Brew 77 on Lady and Assembly Street. Now, you guys have whipped up a really cool, quick and easy thing for dad. Steak and eggs. Steak and eggs, the basics. Love Every dad it. loves a nice steak and eggs. That's we right. thought we'd go with the basics today. And uh, welcome, Chef Zach. Thank we you. have a lovely 12-ounce rabbi served with asparagus. Uh, some potatoes uh, and some hollandaise sauce. That's Zach? pretty easy too, man. Oh, that's, that's a pretty easy setup. Uh, what do you say? Uh, seven minutes for the whole thing? Sure. Yeah. All right, Zach. Exactly. Let's, let's put it to it. All right, happening. All right, so uh, we got our ribeye that we've already cooked off, and mm -hmm. we're gonna let it rest. Uh, if you don't let steak rest, particularly beef, right. um, then it tends to bleed on the plate when you. So cut let it rest it. somewhere else, and that way you yes. get all the juice for out and lets it cool. For a little. minimum of three minutes. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, it's a good tip. Uh, so we've already got our asparagus already cooked off. It's been grilled. Okay. So now we're just gonna have our add our potato hash to the pan, a hot mm -hmm. pan. Uh, you know, a pan's hot always when it's when it talks to you. <laughs> when, yeah. it's, when it's saying here I am. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So you want you want your food to talk to you. That's you know? right. You want to smell so, it and for talk to you. That's, that's right. Uh, a little salt and pepper. <laughs> Perfect. This is really easy too. See, that's the kind of Simple. aroma, by the way, guys. Simple. That if you're a dad, you're gonna want to wake up smelling on Sunday morning. I'm just saying, it smells so good in here right now. I'm not gonna lie. Simple. All right, so you got that cooking. You got your your uh, steak is, is resting. Steak is resting. That's resting. right. So it doesn't bleed on the plate when you cut into it. And blood goes. Now, everywhere. when you're talking steak and eggs, you still cook it to dad's temperature. Is there a certain temperature you want your steak and egg steak to be? Uh, well, I think I speak for every man when I say a good medi medium rare, medium is, right. is about where you want it. Um, Perfect. Anything over that's really tough. So. Okay. All right, so get those cooking off. That is good stuff. And this yep, is something you got, got to of course, serve at the restaurant, but this is easy enough to make it home as well. Very easy. Oh, Ten minutes. Yeah. Ten minutes. All right, you know I love this if stuff. that. What are you going to have on uh, on on Friday morning or sa Sunday morning rather? Sunday morning with my dad, I'll probably cook him this exact dish. There you go. Oh, see now it's a spoiler. He's going to be able to open it up. What about you? Oh, yeah, if you're a dad, what do you what do you expect on a Sunday morning? I don't know. Chick Fil A maybe. <laughs> then it open on Sunday RF. Come on now. I guess you can microwave it and buy it on uh, on Friday night. Oh, or Friday Saturday, night, Saturday night, right? night. That's right. All right. So once you get that done, we get the steak. That looks good. Let's go ahead and put that steak on the plate. I'm ready to eat. Can you tell? You ready to eat? I am ready to eat. There you go. All right. So we got the uh, we got the hash browns are ready to come off. And you, you cut these yourself, or can you, you can actually buy a can of these or a, a pre-made thing. No, you, you could buy something pre-made, but uh, you know you can't. You, you, when you're cooking something for dad, he's going to be able to tell the difference. So I, I wouldn't recommend slacking. I just cut your own potatoes. Okay. Just do it. Do it how you want to. Yeah. All right. We got just about 30 seconds left, Josh. Or, uh, Zach, so let's go ahead and uh, throw this on and see what happens. You got that. You got that. Ooh, look at that steak. Look at that steak. That is good to go. That's a big hunk of meat. I'm just saying. It is. It is. Nice 12 ounce. Some asparagus. Steak. Look at that. Fantastic. You can touch your eggs in there, and you're good to go. Real quick, real easy, kind of healthy. That's a breakfast a man would want on Father's Day. Look at that. Fantastic. You got your poached egg on top there. There you go. Poached egg on top. You got the steak. You got the you eggs. Throw a little hollandaise. Oh, throw a little hollandaise sauce on top of that. You've already pre-poached your eggs. A few minutes, Simple and as you that. are good to go. All right, guys. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Stick around. We got a lot more. In fact, we got a little something special for the kids, really, to get their hands dirty on Father's Day as well. So, Arf's going to stick around. Thank you, Chef Zach. Rue 77 is the home of the steak and eggs, guys. Stay with us. Can I eat this now? That looks lovely. Absolutely. I mean, it's lovely. Every time I taste it. Hey, a few minutes ago, something great to serve Dad for breakfast. Now, Arf, you've got something actually that the whole family can kind of get involved in as well. With mom and dad's supervision, of course, uh, kids, if you want to help make a cool little omelet for dad, you can do that too. We got some special. Yeah, exactly, here. Ryan. I mean, uh, this is just uh, you know, every dad loves an omelet. Everyone right. loves a good omelet. I'm plain. Fork in my hand, by the way. I'm ready. It's just plain, simple. Mm -hmm. I just throw in a couple of eggs, some salt, pepper, uh, some tomatoes and onions. We have our, we have our frying pan ready to go. Okay. It's Toss that in. It's going to heat up the dynamic now. Yeah, you want to preheat that uh, frying pan as well, just a little bit, right? For that omelet. Now today I'm going to serve it on, on our traditional uh, Indian paratha bread, okay. but really on some nice Texas toast or some plain bread or even a flour tortilla. Okay. So surprise that with that and of course cheese. I love cheese. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I do love cheese. I'm going to put this one over here because I'm not done eating the steak and eggs yet. So we got more though. All right, so we got some, some cheese. We got. No, you're making some, basically making um, those onions and tomatoes. Some, in some, just, so, okay. Again, the whole the whole thought process is let's keep it simple for the kids. Right. You know, we all have onions. We all have tomatoes. Let's go to Publix or Bilo's or Walmart. Just sure. get just get the basics and I make a plain old omelet. You can surprise Dad. You know, at seven, eight, nine in the morning. 
Perfect. Something simple. Something Father's Day. Quick. Let him sleep in a little bit. Seven, eight, nine. Goodness gracious. He has an afternoon of football to watch or racing or something. Come on now. It's Father's Day. All right, gonna throw the cheese in. Any kind of brand on cheese you like? Uh, cheddar is great. American is great. Okay. Uh, Fantastic. All right. You got some. Uh, was that paprika? Uh, yeah. Okay. So. What I've done on the side is, again, very simple. We have some asparagus. Mm -hmm. We also have some potatoes. Uh, some sriracha on the top is always going to just uh, spice things up a little okay. bit. You want to take a shot of the omelet? Sure, what man. What do you want to do? What do you I'm mean to do? Gonna just going make to sure, make sure it's not sticking. And turn it into a half. Turn it, you know, just so it's okay. like a half a moon right there. A half a moon, as they say. Well, it's sticking on the bottom. See, this is why I should not be allowed to cook. This is why. All right. So go ahead and flip it on itself. Yep. Here we go. Oh, oh it broke. It ain't going to be pretty, but your belly's not going to care. It's going to be pretty darn good and pretty easy as well. All right, guys, just like But you know what, Tyler? That's gonna... great because this is a quick fix that the kids can help out with their moms uh, and, and just surprise dad like with that. a nice, tasty omelet. All right, we're going to continue to let that cook off, but that is really easy to do. Get that cooking off. You throw it on here. You, you garnish it with some asparagus and some yep. uh, potatoes. So I got some asparagus and potatoes. Right. Look at that. That's an easy, easy breakfast, and mom and dad or, or uh, kids can be involved with mom and have a lot of fun. Mine's not going to be pretty, guys. I'm not going to show you this, but it's going to be tasty, I promise you. Yeah. And we'll get the recipe yeah. for you at MidlandsConnect.com as well. <laughs> Whatever, Janet. Yeah. It's good. It's going to taste good. Mamas, y'all help the babies. <laughs> it's going to taste fine. <laughs> That's a lot of dad. There it is. All right, guys. The recipe is actually waiting for you at MidlandsConnect.com. And watch.com, you can log on. Just keep cooking that egg. We'll be fine. I'm going to eat it either way. Real easy stuff. Don't forget that on Father's Day. Something else cool for Father's Day, if he likes golf, George Rogers is in the house. We're talking yeah. to him next. Yeah? Want to golf with George? You can. Stay with us. Day 40. Oh, that looks so good. Yummy.